understand. Most couples achieve pregnancy within the first six months of trying. Overall, after 12 months of frequent unprotected intercourse, about 90% of the couples will become pregnant. The majority of couples will eventually conceive with or without treatment. The main sign of infertility is the inability for a couple to get pregnant. There may be no other obvious symptoms. Infertility may be due to a single cause in either you or your partner, or a combination of factors that may prevent pregnancy from occurring or continuing. Fortunately, there are many safe and effective therapies for overcoming infertility. When to see a doctor? In general, you may consider seeing a doctor about infertility if you and your partner have been trying regularly to conceive for at least one year. Infertility problems can be present from birth, they can be congenital, or something that might have gone wrong along the way that would result in infertility. The reasons for infertility can involve one or both partners. In order to understand the cause of infertility, we need to understand how the normal pregnancy happens. Unprotected vaginal intercourse, during which a man successfully ejaculates sperms that can move into the vagina and sometimes at the vulva, the sperm can travel up through the cervix into the uterus and if an egg is present, the sperm may fertilize it. So the causes of male infertility may include abnormal sperm production or function due to various problems such as undescended testicles, genetic defects, diabetes, prior infections such as mumps, trauma or prior surgeries to the testicles or inguinal region, extreme heat can affect the number and the shape of the sperm, problems with the delivery of sperm due to sexual problems such as premature ejaculation, semen entering the bladder instead of emerging through the penis during orgasm which is called retrograde ejaculation, also certain genetic diseases such as cystic fibrosis, structural problems such as blockage of the part of the testicle that contains the sperm which is called the epididymis or damage or injury to the reproductive organs. Men who have previously undergone a vasectomy and desire a return of fertility will also need either have to have vasectomy reversed or through a surgical procedure to use assisted reproductive techniques. Overexposure to certain chemicals and toxins such as pesticides, radiation, tobacco smoke, alcohol, marijuana and steroids including testosterone can cause infertility. In addition, frequent exposure to heat such as uh, in the saunas or hot tubs or using your laptop can elevate the testicular temperature impairing your sperm production. Damage related to cancer and its treatment can also affect your fertility. The causes of female infertility may include ovulation disorders due to hormonal disorders such as polycystic ovary syndrome, a condition that might relate to your ovaries producing too much of the male hormone testosterone. And there's also hyperprolactinemia. When you have too much prolactin, the hormone that stimulates the breast milk production. The primary ovarian insufficiency, also called early menopause, is when the ovaries stop working and the menstruation ends before the age 40. Sometimes uterine or cervical abnormalities can affect your fertility, including problems in the opening of the cervix or the cervical mucus, or abnormalities in the shape or the cavity of the uterus. Benign tumors in the wall of the uterus that are common in women, called uterine fibroids, may cause infertility by blocking the fallopian tubes. More often, fibroids may distort the uterine cavity, interfering with implantation of the fertilized egg. Fallopian tube damage or blockage, which usually results from inflammation of the fallopian tube itself, called salpingitis, this can result from pelvic inflammatory disease, usually caused by sexually transmitted infections, or endometriosis, or adhesions. 
Endometriosis, which occurs when endometrial tissue implants and grows outside of the uterus, often affects the function of the ovaries and give you problems with your ovulation. Pelvic adhesions, which is bands of scar tissue that bind organs after pelvic infection, appendicitis or abdominal or pelvic surgery can cause infertility. Other causes in women might include thyroid problems. Disorders of the thyroid glands can interrupt the menstrual cycle or cause infertility. Cancer and its treatment of the female reproductive organs especially can affect your infertility and both radiation and chemotherapy may affect a woman's ability to reproduce. Other medical conditions associated with delayed puberty or the absence of menstruation called amenorrhea, such as celiac disease, Cushing's disease, sickle cell disease, kidney disease or diabetes can affect a woman's fertility. Also genetic abnormalities can make conception and pregnancy less likely. There are also certain medications that can cause you to be infertile. In most cases, fertility is restored when the medication is stopped. There are also risk factors that can affect the male and female and cause infertility. For example, age. Men and women over the age of 40 become less fertile. Tobacco use. So a couple's chance of achieving a pregnancy is reduced if either partner uses tobacco. Smoking also reduces the possible benefit of fertility treatment. Miscarriages are more frequent in women who smoke and smoking can increase the risk of erectile dysfunction and low sperm count in men. Alcohol use increases the risk of birth defects and it may also make it more difficult to become pregnant. For men, heavy alcohol use can decrease sperm count and motility. An inactive lifestyle and being overweight may increase uh, the risk of infertility for both men and women. Being underweight, women at risk of fertility problems include those who have eating disorders such as anorexia or bulimia. And women who follow a very low calorie restrictive diet also have problems in their fertility. There are tests and treatment trial periods for infertility that may extend over several months and can be expensive and uncomfortable. And there is no guarantee, even after all the testing and counseling, that conception will occur. But there are tests done for men and for women, and you may have a general physical exam, both of you. So the tests done for men will include examination of the genitals, and semen analysis, which is uh, done by uh, asking you to masturbate and then uh, ejaculate into a clean container. There's also hormone testing. A blood test is done to determine the level of testosterone and other male hormones. There's transrectal and scrotal ultrasound, and it can help your doctor to look for evidence of conditions such as retrograde ejaculation and ejaculatory duct obstruction. Genetic testing is done to determine whether there is a genetic defect causing the infertility. Testicular biopsy is a test that involves removing samples from the testicles with a needle. The results of a testicular biopsy will tell if the sperm production is normal. There's also other testing like blood or semen tests may be recommended to try to determine whether the sperm may not be able to effectively fertilize the egg. There are also tests for women. For a woman to be fertile, her ovaries must release healthy eggs. Her reproductive tract must allow an egg to pass into her fallopian tubes and allow the sperm to join the egg for fertilization. The fertilized egg must travel on to the uterus and implant in the lining. Tests for female infertility attempt to determine whether any of these processes are impaired. You may have a general physical exam which includes a regular gynecological exam. Specific fertility tests include ovulation testing, 
A blood test is performed to measure hormone levels to determine whether you're ovulating. And there are also other hormone tests to check the levels of ovulatory hormones, as well as thyroid and pituitary hormones that control the reproductive processes. Imaging tests like pelvic ultrasound can be also done to check the fibroids, for example. Hysterosalpingography evaluates the condition of the uterus and the fallopian tubes. X-ray contrast is injected into the uterus and an X-ray is taken to determine if the cavity is normal. Blockage or other problems often can be located. Ovarian reserve testing is done to determine the quality and quantity of the eggs available for ovulation. Laparoscopy may identify endometriosis, scarring, blockages, irregularities of the fallopian tubes, and problems with the ovaries and uterus. There's also genetic testing, which helps determine whether there is a genetic defect causing infertility. Not everyone needs to have all of these tests before the cause of infertility is found. Which tests are used and their sequence depends on your case. I wish you the best of luck in starting a new happy family. This video contains general information about medical conditions. The content might not be suitable for everyone and should not be treated as such. Always consult your doctor before using medications. The medical information is provided without any warranties or legal obligations to those who might apply them.